Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Zaxby's. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me and the channel out very, very much. But without any further ado, let's get started. This is the amount of space required to make your Zaxby's, a 25 by 26 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground which I would always recommend making if you are planning out your world. Here are all of the materials that we will be using throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So step one, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it, and count backwards from this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Begin by placing two bricks going right. One, two. Destroy two blocks in the ground. One, two. And then continue by placing six more bricks opposite the hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extend forwards by two. One, two. Extend right one. Place four upside down brick stairs. One, two, three, four. And then two more bricks. One, two. And now we're going to start extending backwards and we are going to place nine bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine extending back. And then two in, one, two. And then six more back, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's as simple as extending across and forwards, just like this. So the end result should look a little something like this. So pretty interesting shape that we have here. The next thing that we have to do is we have to mark out all of the details of the build by using smooth quartz blocks, which sounds like a weird thing to say, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So why don't we begin where we started off at the beginning? Place two smooth quartz on top of these first two bricks, scoot across, and we want to basically come all the way over to the end corner here and place one, two, three block of quartz like this. Extend this block of quartz forwards, extending towards the front part of the build. Extend to the right by one, and then place four, one, two, three, four glass pane extending right. Place two smooth quartz going right of that. And now let's take a look at the side of the build. So on the side of the build, we want to place a quartz and then two glass, two quartz, two glass, two quartz. And then this next little bit, we can just extend quartz along these bricks until we get to the back part of the build. And then we want to extend this quartz to the right by one. Place a single glass pane, but then leave a gap. And then two more quartz, two glass, three quartz, one, two, three, two glass, one, two, and then two quartz. And then on this left side of the build, we want to have a single quartz extending forwards, three glass, single quartz, three glass, and then make the rest quartz. So when I said that we're kind of like laying out the details for the build, basically we've kind of set all of the window areas. So what we're now going to do is on top of the quartz area, we're going to place some red concrete or, well, you can actually use red concrete, but I found it to be a bit vibrant. So, I mean, either red terracotta or red concrete is to your tastes, really. But I'm going with the red terracotta. So, on top of the left side of this build, because there is a distinction on this build. Like, there's one part that's lower, one part that's higher. On this left side of the build here, we're going to place one, two, three rows of red terracotta like this. So, one, two, three. The larger part of the build is pretty much everything to the right of like where this part pops out this is all the bigger part and we're going to extend up by six one two three four five six 
So it kind of extends backwards in a line as well. You'll kind of figure it out as we go along. Anyway, we're going to extend all of these red terracottas up by six that are on kind of like this right half of the build. And I'll let you know when we no longer extend up by six. And once we have done this, we can start adding the rest of the parts of the windows in. There are overhangs and such. There's a couple of little mini details to add but I kind of want to get the height of the restaurant first so this is the part that kind of sticks out and then where this kind of like extends in right so like you know this part that like extends in here well if you like you can kind of extend this across and join it to the front of the board I mean I suppose you could even connect the entire top together because it's not going to get in the way of anything like this and then that might give you a little bit of an idea of like what the larger part of this build is to which then you can kind of go everywhere else like one two and then three like this so you can just add all of the red terracotta and in having the red terracotta as i kind of mentioned it'll make doing the windows a little bit easier and then we can seal up the windows and then we can add the little mini roof and then there are accents above quite a few of the windows so there you go you can kind of see the distinction between the lower and the upper halves so the next thing that we are going to do is I, I do think that we are going to take care of the windows so we actually need a material swap which is something that i was trying to avoid to be honest but we're going to get rid of the bricks the brick stairs and we are going to grab and also let's get rid of just for a moment just the polished iron and sight slab so we're going to grab oak planks iron door and we're going to grab a black stained glass block this is the entrance area here where we have the two blocks dug out in the ground i'm going to replace this with oak planks and stick iron doors here next to the doors i'm going to place glass block and then directly on top of the doors leading to the right of the window area and then we can seal this up using red terracotta like this the area to the right here, this larger window, wants to be three rows high in total. So we've already got the one, add two layers of glass to it, and then we can fill above this in using red terracotta, just like this. On the right side of the build, the windows are a little bit smaller, and pretty much I do want to say everywhere. So just to make it easy, I'm going to add some red terracotta above this, and then I can simply just place the glass pane onto this. And then the rest of the walls can just be red terracotta. And as I mentioned, there will be some window accents, I'll call them, um, later on. All these windows here are kind of the same. They're just two by twos, pretty much. The only difference being the drive-through window here. We don't want, we just want to leave a little gap. But everywhere else, just completely fill the area in using glass. And the same over here. It's not two by twos, it's two by threes or three by twos or whichever number is supposed to come first. I oh, don't know, I don't know how to math. And then we can just simply add the glass in here. And there we go. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is I think that I will dig out the entire inside of the build and replace it with my floor material, which is going to be oak planks. It just kind of seems to go with the whole deal. Like the red the white the bricks are red as well but not quite as red like it just seems to go together i don't know we're, get, we're kind of going for a a warm sort of feel so hence why i'm going with the oak the oak's probably i i would say the warmest of the woods or at least i think that with the planks um warm in terms of like just looking at it it just seems i don't know it just seems right whereas like in terms of like actual warm as in like the color is warm like acacia you know is a bit more striking obviously it is literally like orange kind of like sun like really but it's not got warmth to the block as the oak planks has and of course like orange and red is just too much anyway so kind of this nice sort of tan color uh I don't know, it just complements the bit. Maybe that's the word that we're looking for. It complements the build. So, we'll get all of this filled in just whilst we've got the roof off. So that it just makes it a little bit easier. Because sometimes the like shadow effects in the dark are a little bit crazy. So, there we go. And what we can also do is, now that we've kind of established a roof line. So, like... 
The build doesn't really go any lower than this. We can just add in a couple of rows of red terracotta here underneath the larger part, which kind of just, I mean, you can see that they'll basically just sit uh, on top of the roof. It's looking very modern at this point in time, by the way, which uh, is not a look that we're really going for, but. Next thing, let's go to all of the windows. So, above the entrance area here where we have the glass, we're gonna stick some light gray concrete. And then we're going to place smooth quartz blocks on the end, extend the bottom out, and then end rods underneath the left and right sides like this. And it's just kind of like a cool overhang. A lot of these windows uh, are prevalent on the actual Zaxby's, or at least the ones that I managed to find on Google. We don't have them here in the UK, so. Uh, we're going to basically apply this um, to most windows. So on the front here, definitely, like where we have the larger windows, um, it's just meant to look like kind of like um, like canopies or maybe like just like uh, like, yeah, kind of like folding canopies, really. So, on the side here, we're going to go with the same thing. Like, we want it to be the same height as what we have here on the left. Or maybe we, we could drop it a row, actually, if we wanted to, to make it, like, as high as the entrance. Um, I don't know. Maybe, should we? Maybe let's have it a little bit lower. This is so inconsequential, but let's have it just directly above the windows. Um, we'll place the smooth quartz and um, then we can stick the so instead of having like multiple ones We'll just have like one large one here on the back uh, On the side rather and then on, on the back. We'll do the same thing I don't think that we will get in the way of anything in doing this So we'll just have the same thing here on the back and then we'll have the same thing on the side It will make these sides far more interesting. The only thing is it kind of no it doesn't do anything I like so on the, the <laughs> We don't have the block, which is annoying, but above the drive through window, I don't know why we don't have it. Above the drive, because we need it. Um, we need smooth quartz stairs, and it's going to go literally just directly above the drive through window like this. So we've kind of got the canopy effect here. We want to have the same thing on the side here where we have these windows. And again, it just makes it look a bit more interesting. Feel free to leave it off if you're not a fan of the particular uh, detail of it, but I am and um, as you kind of look at it, it just looks I think a little a little bit more interesting as I keep saying keep repeating myself So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the kind of like the roof area here uh, Relatively simple basically above and inside. I do believe that that is correct. I think so Oh, no, actually no, this is this is what we do. So on top of the red terracotta We're going to place upside down smooth quartz stairs. So just like this Upside down smooth quartz stairs on top of the red terracotta Leading all the way around and is going to eventually connect to the upper part of here and then smooth quartz slabs around the top of the edge of the smooth quartz stairs. So like this, all the way around. And it's gonna connect just like that. Perfect. There we go, that's looking pretty good. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the roof area for the larger part of the build as well. So this is easily done. We can make the outline of it by placing smooth quartz slabs on the left and right hand sides, extending up and in until they eventually reach the highest point, which will be about... Oh, hang on. Oh, my bad. I forgot. It's it actually it's not like a single block. It's a double area. So the same thing that we have on the left and right like this. So we just want to have there we go. So it's like it it's the it's not just like a single highest point. It's it's just two smooth quartz slabs back to back at the top. Not really back to back because who's to say what the back is, but. You guys get the idea. So we'll just have something, and then that looks pretty good, I think. Perfect. Uh, you can fill the middle of this in using... So I grabbed andensite for this. But, I mean, you could just use smooth quartz if you wanted to. Uh, you also don't have to worry too much about, like, placing solid blocks 
underneath, like to join the roofs together because we're not going to see the under part of this. Like it doesn't matter what that looks like because we're going to be adding in a false, uh, a false ceiling anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I think that we might we might be using diorite for that just because I've been using diorite a little bit more just because it's got a bit of a texture. Um, and again, I find it to be relatively warm. I don't know why. But yeah, there we go. So a little bit of polished iron insight for that part of the roof. We've got a lot of the actual structure of this built right now, which is why I think I'm struggling a little bit to be like, have we done this? Have we done that? Yeah, we have actually. So let's let's just dump out these materials for a second. Let's and let's think about the things that we do need. So before we think about the sign and things like that, let's do let's grab some waxed exposed cut copper. Now, granite is also good if you don't want to go to the trouble of the copper, depending upon how you're playing. Um, we need some podzo, some ferns, some oak leaves. We will also need grey concrete, some smooth stone we'll also need. Uh, we will also need the terracotta back. And also the smooth quartz stairs and smooth quartz slabs, and then that's all we can have at the moment. So basically, just in front of this little area here, we're going to have a couple of rows of pods all extending out, just like this. A couple of rows of pods all. Oh, and underneath this window here, I'm going to dig this out now. Let's try some uh, waxed exposed cut copper. There we go. Uh, just like this. So I want a couple of rows of podzol. Why podzol instead of grass? Just a bit of a change, really. <laughs> Honestly, like, feel free to swap these out. I mean, they're kind of like, I don't know if the word dirty apply. It, it kind of does. It's kind of a dirty block, podzol, right? But I kind of like it. I, I like it quite a bit. So we're going to extend a couple of rows of podzol all the way back until it's kind of parallel with the back of the building, like this. Destroy all of this, here, 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 perfect. And then at the back of the build, yeah, and, and then we'll actually join it to the building. We'll dig this out, join it to the building with a couple of rows of oak leaves extending up just to kind of like add a bit of color to the area. And then all we're gonna do is starting from this back corner, large fern, gap of, I want to say two, fern, gap of two, fern, so on and so forth, you guys get the idea, gaps of two, fern, gaps of two, fern, and then on the, from the corner here is, do we place one on the corner? I don't think we do, no. So like, we'll leave a gap of two from the corner, fern, gap of two, fern, gap of two, fern, gap of two, fern on this corner, gap of two, and then a fern against it. It's honestly, it's almost a little bit random, but it kind of, it just looks sort of nice. I like it. I think it complements the whole thing. So again, change things as you, as you see fit. It's up to you. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do, what are we working on here? So, oh, the point of the waxed cut copper, and as a matter of fact, okay, let's take two entire rows off of the front of the grid. So let's take two entire rows off of the front of the grid. And if we start from the left, we want three rows of smooth stone, three rows of grey concrete, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we want to have two entire rows of smooth stone here. Then, in front of the building, we're going to dig out the grass and we're going to replace it using the, I keep forgetting the name of this because it's such a long name, the wax, Waxed Exposed Cut Copper. And now I've, I've really got to enunciate that because otherwise I'd, I think that it'll turn into a tongue twister. <laughs> Uh, okay, hang on, let's, let's give it a Waxed Exposed Cut Copper. Actually, it's not too bad. Waxed Exposed Cut Copper. Waxed Exposed Cut Copper. Okay, okay. After the second time, it starts getting a little bit tricky. So, uh, I just really like it. I, I like the fact that it's... I don't know, it's just got a nice texture to it. I like it. It's got a little bit of colour to it as well. And again, I think it sort of complements. So, it's not too far away from the bricks and the red terracotta. It's also got a bit of green in it, which kind of goes with the plants. So... You know, shrug, it's up to you whether you want to use it or not. It's it's kind of out there a little bit. There's a drive-through. The drive-through starts where we placed these three grey concretes. So they extend all the way back, and we essentially want to have a row of three grey concrete extending up the side and then across the back, like this. And it's basic it's just a drive-through road. That's all it is. Um there's nothing else to it, actually, so... Oh, how did I forget this row? So, all of this just wants to get dug out, replaced with grey concrete, 
But that's it. There's a couple of things outside as well that we're missing, so I'm going to vocalize this because it might make me remember because it's a small detail. There are lanterns hanging off of the front of the build, which I quite like. We're also missing a sign. And after we have done this little drive through here, by the way, I'm going to add two rows of smooth stone that leads all the way to the back here. So this is actually a walkway and can be a walkway. So the drive through functions like we've got, like where the road is. So like the drive through works that way. So like you can't like drive straight through. You've got to drive around. But if we exchange the copper for brick blocks, we're going to have... A brick wall here on the left, just a double row of brick wall on the left, like this. And then across the back we'll have another double row. So, you can actually just walk around the entire thing, pretty much, but you can only drive in one way, if that makes sense. So, oh no, it, again, just trying to shake up the layouts a little bit, you know, I don't want everything to be the same. Let us grab... Uh, let's get rid of these couple of things. So we need black polished blackstone brick polished wall Polished blackstone wall. There we go polished blackstone wall and black concrete So where we have the front left hand corner of the build we want to from this corner Move to the left and on top of this stone here red terracotta and extend forwards I do believe or do we extend back? I think it's forwards actually add three rows one two three and then Smooth quartz stairs on the sides of this, and this is kind of like a speaker box, like it's a fancy looking speaker box, so that you can order your stuff. And then we're going to leave a gap of two, I do believe, or maybe a gap of, we'll leave a gap of one, and then polished black stone wall, and then a gap of two, polished black stone wall. Black concrete on top, extend up like this, and there you go. So this is going to be an order board, that is a fancy looking speaker box thing. And then we're going to grab paintings, lanterns, and then, honestly, we, we're mostly done with the outside, but we can also grab oak pressure plates. So this order board, essentially, I'm going to try and stuff as many paintings that look like things on here. So this all, all looks like, like, all of this is rather ambiguous, except for this, of course. I mean, you know that. Eh. No. Eh. I'm looking for the kebab. There is one that... There we go, perfect. So, all of these could be items if you use your imagination, so that's why I like to use paintings in a lot of... Uh, number one, they're colourful, and number two, it's like, ah, it can be whatever you want it to be. So, um, that's an order board, that's a speaker box. We've kind of got the walkway all done. I just want to have another look around the outside of the build, because, yeah, actually, we've, we've pretty much done all of the structural stuff at this point. Um, I'm going to have a couple of lanterns, three lanterns, actually, hanging from above here. So, a lantern here... Here, and then right in the middle, so just three lanterns hanging off the front, just to keep it a little bit illuminated. Um, we've got oak pressure plates. Now, you could use different pressure plates on the outside, but just for the sake of an item slot, I'm just going to keep them like that. Um, I want to add a ceiling, so we don't have the block on us, but I'm sure it will be in the item list. I would enjoy... Where is it? But where or where? It's, I think it's over here, actually, in the stone section. I shouldn't include this infested. Hang on. Ah, of course, it's in the actual stone section. So, I'm going to be using polished diorite. Everybody's favorite block. Everybody loves diorite. Not. But I'm using it for the... Uh, the ceiling material. So there's two ceilings. One is smaller than the other. I'll let you guess where the smaller ceiling goes. And it's basically, the first ceiling is, like I said, it's here. So like it's in the smaller part of the build. And it basically just sits in line with the top of the red terracotta just before we have the quartz area like so. So just like this. And then inside here, we'll add a bit of more red terracotta here. Um, we'll dig out the ceiling at this part. We'll add in some more red terracotta. Um, we'll then add... Actually, we could have just the same... No, we'll add an extra height. We'll add an extra block to it. So then, inside of like the bigger part, we'll have the diorite one row higher. And we'll make sure that everything looks clean, by the way, and tidy, like, by the end. But 
Um, there we go. So that it just adds a little bit more interest to it. So like we've got slightly lower and then slightly higher. And let's add a bit of structure to the inside of Zaxby's now because. As I said, like um, I kind of want to tidy it up a little bit, and we kind of had to have to add a bit of structure first. So this wall here, this back wall, what we can essentially do is starting from the left here, and I'm just going to make sure that this is right. And we can use a bit of polished diorite for this actually, and we could do with the bricks. So I'm going to grab bricks, quartz, red. Oh, that's red concrete. My bad. So oh, we can use the quartz stairs. So here. Gap, two diorite, gap of two, and then we want to place from this block one, two, three, four, five bricks. Two upside down, smooth quartz stairs going right, one, two, and then we're going to place bricks on the end, extend back two, and then back into the wall. So the entire point of this is that we can place smooth quartz block on top of the brick part and then red terracotta on top of the smooth quartz extending upwards towards the ceiling just like this perfect so I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna extend a row of red terracotta there just across the top and I'm pretty happy with that. So this little area here is meant to be a drinks machine, kind of like a self-serve sort of thing. So inside of here, we're going to use the Pepsi colors. Blue concrete. Oh, my bad. It's higher than I thought. And then red concrete on the side. Upside down, smooth quartz stairs at the top. And then we'll add decoration to it later. Here is where the... And I want upside down brick stairs for this. So here is where the... What do you call it? The order area is. So the kitchen and that. So leaving a gap of one. Well, I have to place something. We're going to have upside down brick stairs leading to this wall. So that should be just like right next to this window here. And then on here as well, we're going to have a smooth quartz stair. And then we're going to have, we need to have a couple of screens in the form of black concrete and paintings. So hanging off of the ceiling here, probably one row back from the stairs. A couple, a couple of couple rows of black concrete. And then kind of just like with the order board, you know, we're going to splatter them with some paintings. And then, so that's, that's pretty good. So in front of this... We're going to have uh, just a queue. So this is going to be just red terracotta in the ground with then black stained glass paint like this. That's looking pretty good. And then now that we've done that, we're kind of going to iron out where some of the booths and such are. So um, they're dead easy to do and the booths are very, very simple indeed. So we just need... Uh, we'll need red terracotta. For we could even make the booths red concrete to contrast a bit. Um, smooth quartz stairs, red carpet, end rods, and then a little bit later on we'll need some light grey glazed terracotta and some oak leaves. So in this corner here, red concrete in front of this, smooth quartz stairs in front of that, end rod, stair, concrete, opposite side, stair, end rod, stair, concrete, Against this wall, glazed terracotta, couple of rows of oak leaves on top. Extend the concretes out, each by two, like this. You can have a different configuration in here if you like, but basically we'll extend the concretes out, we'll extend the stairs out, we'll extend the end rods out, and then it'll just... Oh, and then add carpets on top to create uh, table toppers. And here we go. I don't like the interiors to be that complicated, to be quite honest. I really like simple plain clear interiors and that's exactly what we've got plain is the wrong word because it is an interesting interior but you guys get the idea we could even add a couple of rows of light gray glazed terracotta as kind of like a floor material and that would look pretty good as well there we go i like that and then what else oh so in this opposite room over here uh we've kind of got a little bit of a table layout as well so in here one two three stairs one two three stairs and then end rods like this with red carpets on top of the end rods here here and then we're gonna add paintings so 
Do paintings bleed into leaves? I think they do. Oh, no, they don't. No, never mind. Paintings are weird. I mean, you guys know how paintings work. I mean, they can be a bit weird. Sometimes they clip behind blocks. Um, so just a little bit of painting configuration. Over here, we'll have just like a little single table by this window. And then in front of this, we'll leave a gap. And then we'll have like a double table. So just like this. And again, change things how you see fit, you know, however you like it, add, add whatever you want, but you know, just a, another simple, simple design. Um, if you wanted to make it a bit fancier, you could add like, hmm, how would I, how would one do this? Let me think. So you could add, you can add like things like, you could add like a row of fence. It's not fence, it's wall like this. And then you could hang lanterns off of it kind of like you know and it kind of adds a little bit of interest it, it kind of like it i don't know like number one it's centered in the room it kind of breaks up the middle of the room a little bit and then if you wanted to you could then kind of like refloor the entire inside of this part but it might look a little bit busy with the light gray glazed terracotta let's try it it might look a little bit weird though Another option would have been... No, it wouldn't, actually. We could... Okay. So what I was about to say, because I've, I bet that I bet some of you guys are like, what were you about to say? What would have an option have been? So we couldn't have raised this area up, but we could have extended it down. So we could have added... We could have, we could have added a step in here, and then we could have dropped the floor, and then we could have had the same things. So, it would have, again, a matter of interest. And then this is a little bit high. We could have even hung that a little bit lower. I am realizing, by the way, that it would be a mistake to make the entire floor, floor glazed terracotta. It doesn't look good. Well, I mean, I like the block, but it just doesn't... I, I think that it looks a little bit silly like this. Like, I maybe the build just has enough of it, you know? So, probably none of that. But it certainly would be an idea, and I might even do it at the end because I really like it now that I've kind of like just tested it out a little bit. I like the idea of dropping it a row down, so I might actually do that myself, just, just for the fun of it. Now, we're kind of at the point, I do believe, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, where we have used m most of, if not just about all of the materials that we're going to be able to use. So, I'm going to have to go away, I'm going to have to grab some different ones, and then we'll just use those to finish off the build. Back in one moment. Okay, I think I know what we need to finish the build. So, going to grab cauldron, detector, light grey shulker, spruce, trap doors, redstone torch, iron trap door, blast furnace, lanterns, flower parts. So... First of all, we're going to start in the kitchen and kind of like work our way forwards, really. We're going to place a cauldron, detect rail on top. We're going to, in the corner, first of all, we'll stack up a bunch of blast furnaces just all the way up to the ceiling. We might even add, it might even be a better idea to, at the top, maybe have like a couple of upside down quartz stairs, actually. And then some cupboards extending from the stairs over to the left here. Some spruce trap doors. Uh, across the top of this lantern flower pot something like that it just looks like a little kitchen um in front of the bottom of the blast furnaces i want to have a couple of um a couple of iron trap doors so we don't actually so i'm using redstone torches underneath attached to the blocks to power these and then if we place a couple of iron trap doors that doesn't work why doesn't that work i don't know is it because bedrock that's why. I don't know if there's a reason for that, but anyway, so I, I'll do this later myself. If you're on, at the very least, Java, that will work. That'll power them, they'll be flipped up. But maybe if you're on a different version of Bedrock, like PC version of Bedrock, maybe it works, but it doesn't here. So um, anyway, along this counter space, we're going to place what we're going to use. So we're going to need the weighted pressure plates, and then kind of like really just... Way to pressure place, and then you don't even need anything, but flower pots or something are always good, ambiguous decoration. Over here, on top of the drinks machine, like another flower pot, an iron trap door is kind of like, you know one of those drainage things where like if you spill the drink, it's like, oh, it's okay, it'll just go into there, and then it goes somewhere, I don't know where it then goes if you spill it in there. But then trip by a hook and a lever and... That's it. I mean, that, that that's kind of the whole thing. Like I said, I wanted to keep it dead simple in here, and it is simple, and it's perfect. I really like it, and feel free to add more detail if you like, but that's the inside done. 
Uh, I will sort that out later, and I'm going to probably drop that a little bit later on as well, see how it looks. But let's head outside, and let's do the final part, which is going to be the sign. The sign is dreaded, once again. The dreaded sign. So, first of all, I'm going to throw a loom down on the ground, then get rid of the loom, because it's an inventory spot. Red banners. We're, d we're just using red banners, and then it's just a bunch of blue dye and a bunch of red dye. So, the first letter that we're going to make is going to be Z. So... Blue dye on red banners. Horizontal row at the top. The bottom. Diagonal row, top left corner. Nope, my bad. Top right corner to bottom left corner. Boom. There is Z. Next is going to be A. So, vertical row on the right. Vertical row on the left. Horizontal through the middle. And also across the top. A. Next is going to be X. So, I don't get to make this letter very often at all. So, it's basically just of both of the diagonal patterns. And boom, there you, go. there you go. You have X. Then, we have B, which is basically horizontal, every horizontal you could possibly get. And then, vertical on the left and right sides. And there you go. B. Next would be Y, which is one of the annoying letters to make, unfortunately. So, diagonal, top left corner to bottom right corner. Grab that, throw out the blue, throw red in there. Make the bottom half of the banner red. Grab that, put that back in. Throw the red out, put the blue in there, and then do the opposite of the diagonal. And there you go. Y. Then, all we've got to do is make an S. I thought these banners were a lot worse than they are. Horizontal, blue across the top, the bottom... And then it is, yes, top right corner, bottom left corner, and then we have S. So, the sign basically fits perfectly just in this area here, underneath the roof, even and level with where we have the overhang. So here, Z, A, X, B, Y, S, Zaxby's. Easy peasy. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the build. Uh, complete. So this is what your Zaxby's will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me in the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That will ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box and if you do want to make anything else by me check out the card system the description below and the top of the comment section for more thank you so much for watching i did drop the floor and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye